Good day, good people. We're back on the Pixelmon server. I am still, I think, like seven legends from finishing the entire final, unfortunately, edition of the Pixelmon Pokedex. But I haven't really been focused on that. I've been focused on trying to give away my life's earnings on the server. And uh, here's how I do that. I'm, well, if you see now, I'm currently in the middle of making a game that's inspired by Wipeout, but it's solely for, uh, focused on the big balls. There's four big balls right now, there's gonna be like other ones off to the side. If you play your cards exactly right, you'll be able to go all the way down into the grand prize area. But if you follow along the way, there's like other pockets, or there will be other pockets. There's a game and a half in the making. You start from somewhere up there. Uh, you'll have speed too. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But that's not ready. I have two other games that, I think a few other games actually that I haven't showed off here. So let's show all those off. I actually have to F3A, because I just crashed. We should be moving a lot better now. There we go. <clears throat> so, if you haven't seen, if you haven't noticed, this is the lotto. But it's also, I make a little bit of money back. I have not uh, held it yet, but the grand prize is a thousand. Also, not a thousand, one hundred thousand. One thousand would be one heck of an awful prize. This shiny Arcanine and this shiny Sneasel. And the drawings are, I think, three times a week. It is 1k, the only game that I have you pay for. 1k per entry, uh, 6 max entry, so you could buy a whole lot, or I guess portion of the wall. It is also super, it's not even easy to make, it's easy to just do. So what you do is have a dispenser, and dispensers just pick things out at random, which is beautiful, beautiful by design. I'm sure it's not truly random, but it's pseudo-random. Um, probably based on clock and it's almost impossible to uh, predict that unless you got one going on at all times but <clears throat> just on like the sidebar but there is no sidebar on the server so it's impossible to know so <clears throat> what you'll do is you'll select five colors when you buy a ticket and colors can repeat and it's all based on these nine colors so instead of like saying wow there's no chance at all I could get this right easy it's basically like saying numbers 1 to 45. There's 9? Yeah, 1 to 45. <clears throat> and so, that's what you have there. This, on the other hand, is like saying 1 to 9 chance of getting your $1,000 back. Because, if you match the global, you get 1k. If you match 3 colors and the global, you get 5k. Match 4 colors and the global, you get 50k. That's five colors in the global, and that's how you hit the jackpot. Um, without the global, if you match three, you get 2k. Match four, you get 5k. Match five, you get 25k. And then, that's that. That's that. That is that. That is indeed that. And then, when the drawing comes around, people can just gather over there for whatever reason if they want to. And I'll just go like, one, two, three. Four, five, and do you see like that? There were two repeats. So, and then also you have to do the last one. The global would have been yellow. This card I don't think would have gotten any prize because <laughs> I just keep this one up here as the example card. An example that you have to pick five. You can pick repeats yourself, and then you have your one thing of doodle, and that's how that works. And I am super pleased. Actually, I'm just gonna leave that up there. Uh, cause I think I'm gonna start running that this week. I think I'll start, uh, doing the drawings live. Not live, maybe live. Not even live streamed ever. That's probably a good way to hype everybody up. But this is a... I came up with two new games that I haven't really shown off on my channel. And I am super fun. I guess three, actually, because there's one right below this now. Plinko. But right now, I'm going to show all three of them in this little clip. 
this little episode. And it would be great if someone like picked out one of them from Wonder Trade right now. There's four people on right now. I thought there were a lot. I thought it was just like me and one other person. I know someone just left. I feel like a big rush of people. The rush of people usually comes off. I'm rambling. In like 30 minutes actually. So that's exciting. Maybe I should have done this a little bit later, but who cares? Um, this is Lava Roulette, is what I've decided to call. It is like a version of Russian Roulette. You know, with like the pistol, not the pistol, the revolver. You put one in the chamber, you shoot. Well, hope for the best, otherwise you die. Um, also taking advantage of the fact that dispensers pull out random things. So you have the chance to win up to 100k in this game too. Uh, purely based on chance. And you can stop any time. Although if you die into the lava, your game immediately ends. So what happens is, these are the five amounts. So in round one, you start off with just one opening so let's say in round one you have to and every single round you have to get into a chamber but you also toss some cash amount into the chamber you start the game with 1000 so you can just honestly just leave as soon as that starts and once you decide to go because no one's just gonna stop at 1000 you get the five thousand dollar block and what you have to do is pick a chamber for yourself to get in. And you have to put these up for grabs too. So you have to put a chamber for your 1,000 to get in. And for your 5,000 to get in. And then, since it's round one, only one will come out. And then you drop the pink. And if you didn't put anything in pink, you have $6,000 on your and in the next round you have to put up four well you have to put up yourself one thousand five thousand you can walk away at that point with your six thousand or you can play for a total of sixteen thousand granted nothing falls so in the next round you have four to put them in inclusive of yourself and then two will fall and so after that let me put this back in here afterwards those two fall and the thing is you could like automatically just lose that 10,000 because it could fall in the lava you could lose the 1,000 and 10,000 you could lose 5,000 10,000 you could lose nothing or you could just lose yourself and die there's always that possibility and so clearly in the next round you can guarantee that something's gonna fall but if you play your cards right you could walk out with you and just $50,000 but then there comes the final round, where it's just you. Your 50,000's clearly gonna go. But if you decide to risk it all, you could either go home with 100,000 or not go home with anything. But I don't like how that sounded. So I came up with this loser's route. And if you happen to have lost, you get to put one of each of these very small prizes and you can still walk out with the 1,000 that you had at the beginning. You put each one of these inside of a chamber. We draw five colors out, and the one that's left standing is what you win. But notice there are only five here, so you could still walk out with nothing. So that's just for freebies. <clears throat> that's how this game works. It's a little bit complicated, but once you see it in action, it's pretty, pretty fun, I'd say. Pretty fun. It was fun to test. I have not won $100,000 myself. I got to the round before $50,000 and I died several times. I'm just not lucky. Um, there was also the first time where I tested it and I was just immediately out because I was like, yeah, let's go. And then I just got dumped in a lava. But I didn't really dump myself in the lava because that would be a waste because I'm the tester. But yeah, I guess I should have shown you how I tested it. But it's whatever. I just grabbed an armor stand and I was just moving it around. And I was like, this is me. This is me. This is how I will play. But this is Plinko. Plinko is um, still in alpha, actually. I need to mess with the angles on a lot of, not a lot of these, actually, but there's like this whole row and the row down there. It's possible to get stuck based on the angles that 
Ah, uh, this is going bad. So what you do is, I think you get three carts, you can stop at any time, I like to do that all the time, because there's a bankrupt spot. And what you do is you pick a slot to go down, you grab a cart, and you go. You can control to the best of your abilities, uh, up and left and right, which way you go. Like this time, you go, or I went all the way down to yellow, and I think yellow was pretty good? I don't know. I've I've actually ran Plinko before, once. Someone walked out with quite a bit. Plinko was, or Plinko, yellow was 5,000. So yeah, you get three carts, or three falls, granted you don't leave. <laughs> Some people probably would have left with that 5,000. But it's whatever. Whatever. Uh, I didn't build anything else, right? Everything down there is still the same. I really love the sign for Lotto. It's so great. Um, ah yes, here we go. In addition to a wipeout that I'm not even wipeout, it's just the big balls. I'm gonna love putting that name into Wonder Trade for someone to just be like, uh, I got the big balls. I got the big balls. But, uh, this is Cookie Hunt. If you can notice this, but you're still wondering what this is. It's a glass of milk! Isn't it obvious? So, Cookie Hunt is probably, I think, my most clever game. Not even really. It's probably not my most clever game, but it's the one I like the most. You get 90 seconds as soon as this door opens, and you have to open chest for cookies. And these cookies don't do anything. But if you look around, there are 16, 15, either 15 or 16 named cookies, like the peanut butter cup cookie. Or the... This is just me being hopefully lucky so I can show off another name of a cookie, or maybe I'm just wrong. But, you have 90 seconds and you gotta search through all these chests. I just saw one, I just rolled, yeah. Simon Nelson Cook. Not the name of a cookie, <laughs> but the name of a cookie. Beautiful. I get that I look like Simon Nelson Cook a lot. Especially when I'm wearing my glasses. <coughs> So I really need to get like a little thing. I should be cookie for freaking Halloween. I would so do that, but anywho, yes. Once you get that, or once you, uh, cause I'll be announcing like in like 10 second increments how much time you have left. You'd climb up here and then you throw your cookies in. Um, and this is just a weighted presser, uh, pressure plate, which works, it gives one extra signal with every different item that's in there, and that's why I've named cookies, because every single, like, name of a cookie is a entirely different entity. It goes based on entities. Like, if you were to just throw one fish down, then it would just light up that. And if you would throw, like, eight fish down, it wouldn't, it would increase for a second until they, like, clump up, because you know that's how Minecraft does. So that wouldn't work. You need different entities. So I could just throw all- I could throw both stacks of these down and it would be two entities. But, the way that the cookies work is because they're all different names, they won't stack. So you could throw in like, those would all technically be different cookies, and then it would show you what prize you got. Because it just goes up, and up, and up, based on how I configured the redstone down here. Which I think I can actually show you because I have a pickaxe on me. Good job, Noah goes like this, so you know it'll just increase one every time, and then the repeater makes it go up to the light, or makes it strong enough to go up to the light. Down here probably wouldn't be a problem, but up there it would be. And as soon as 90 seconds ends, this will close the way down, meaning you can't throw any more cookies, and it'll be the end of the game, and you will clearly see what you've won. I think, because I did run this too. Usually people get to like two to four thousand, and I think one person actually got to was it seventy-five thousand or seventy-five hundred rather? Sorry, or did they get to ten? No, they got to ten, and I was like, "Wow, that's really good," and I was super impressed. So it's easy to do well in this game, except it's impossible to win unless you actually start searching. 
because there's hidden chest in this place. There's one in both sides of these paintings. And I think these also technically don't necessarily have to have cookies named in them, but I think I did for both of them. Because I kind of randomize how these go in. Um, there's one hidden chest there. And I think that one does have a cookie in it too. You just have to look around. You have to keep your eyes open. Because this one isn't really hidden. But if you're like standing from like over here, and you're like, I don't have any more to check on that side, then you would also see this one. It's like, maybe there's one on the floor. Uh, but there's a couple hidden chests. I'm not going to point them all out because, you know, might, might join the server, might have a fun time. You might get a little cheeky. Cheeky. Wow. <clears throat> Anywho. Um, I think that's it. Those are the three new games, fourth new concept. I really like the concept of the lottery. Um, and then one game in the making, because I'm just going to keep working on that. But let me tell you, in Pixelmon Slime, it's so hard to come across. I need slime for the whole of Wipeout. Not Wipeout, the big balls. Um, I mean, there's not even slime blocks in the block shop, which I might talk to an admin about, but I'm also kind of lazy, so I might just... Or, I'm also not just lazy, I might just end up finding them all before an admin logs in. Because that's just what I do. Because I am the hardest worker in the game. Um, but yeah, that's it. That is... Every single game that's new that I don't think I've shown off. Because I showed off Halloween, showed off Christmas. I'm thinking about doing, like, an egg hunt. Oh, that would be... Ooh. I really had an idea. Because this game is called Cookie Hunt, so when I said Egg Hunt, I was like, ah, that's nice. But I could just have everyone do a version of Cookie Hunt, but I'd need a whole lot of eggs. Which is super doable, actually. I could do this. Hold on, I might actually do this. I could turn this into a little Easter basket. And then replace, like, this with different types of eggs. I wish I could, like, dye eggs, but who cares? At this point, I really like that idea, and I think I'm gonna do Easter in August. Because I did Christmas and Halloween in July, so let's do an Easter in August. Let's do it. That's gonna be my next project after I finish Wipeout, but August is honestly almost over, so... <clears throat> Fingers crossed. Um, that is everything. Thanks for watching. Hope you take these ideas and incorporate them into your power for doing games yourself. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, any ideas you want to spitball at me. It was like, hey, no, you can make a game like blah, blah, blah. After I finish Wipeout, I've really, really been wanting to build a game based on Legends of the Hidden Temple. The old, old 90s Nick show. Some of you all might only recognize that by the name of the movie, but hey, hey, I'm gonna do it. That's gonna be what I do after, after blah, 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 after Wipeout, after the big balls. Um, so let me know ideas for that, actually. Look up some, uh, some temple running from, not temple run, not the app, please don't. Uh, some Temple Run from the 90s show. Just shoot me, split, uh, spitball me ideas in the comments, and uh, I'll see what I can do. I think I'm going to, if I ever do build it, I'm probably going to stream me building it. Because then I can interact and you guys can be like, you know what would be a great idea? Because right now, the only idea I have is using um... armor stands as the temple guards and decorating them as such. Otherwise, I don't really have too much of an idea. I'm going to have to do a little bit of 
not researching, but rewatching myself. Because the only ones I really remember are The Shrine of the Silver Monkey. I remember a lot of the games before the actual temple running. Ooh. I could just make I just I could just recreate Legends of the Hidden. Ah I'm gonna love it. That's gonna be a big project. And it's I'm gonna only start with the temple, but it's gonna be a big project. And I might like run it once a month. But it's gonna be awesome. Anywho, that's me. Noah the Aviator Reeves, your future United States champion. Telling you to take care and stay classy passengers. Toodaloo.